We're joined by Dr. Kyoshi Kurokawa, uh, chairman of the Fukushima Nuclear Accident Independent Investigation Commission. Dr. Kurokawa, thanks very much for joining us today. Your commission was uh, authorized by the parliament, the mm -hmm. Diet in Japan, yeah. to investigate the uh, Fukushima disaster mm. of March 11, 2011. Could you share what you were called upon uh, to investigate? I think uh, they, that's included in the mandate, uh, so that is a cause of uh, direct and indirect cause of this uh, Fukushima accident, and uh, what happens and what is the impact of this accident, to, and also government response, and potentially su some suggestion of the nuclear regulatory bodies and uh, what to do, and these are the mandate which are given to us. One of the core themes in your report is mm -hmm. the uh, argument that this was a man-made disaster. Mm -hmm. Could you e explain that a little bit? Perhaps I think Japan is uh, number three, like at least big economy, number three at the GDP and also the nation in pride, priding in the science and technology and engineering. So the world was really stunned by the fact even this is uh, followed with a big earthquake and a huge tsunami, but nonetheless, I think the world was very much stunned with this. This happened in Japan. And so that at least we had to make it more transparent, and I think the process was very, very challenging. But at least because of this is uh, commissioned by the parliament uh, so that we have certain power uh, to approach TEPCOs and also government, and as a sort of institution of, uh, which has a stakehold in this issue. So we are very fortunate and they are very cooperative. And we uh, invited 38 key people for our commission, which was open to the public and online, and also with simultaneous English, uh, English translation so that uh, interpretation so that world can watch a commission activity. One of the uh, other conclusions you reached mm. was that there is a dire need for regulatory f reform mm. in Japan, mm. and you reference uh, the term regulatory capture. Could you talk about uh, why you raised that issue and, mm. and in what context over the course of your study? By uh, examining all the documents, other things, it's become quite obvious. I think the world has experienced many nuclear accidents, and from that kind of accident and many other failures, I think we learned that there's a certain a preventive measure to be, could be done. And government knew that. And maybe TEPCO and the electric utility company may have known that. And government has a power to regulate certain issues. But obviously, uh, expertise and knowledge and the engineering knowledge uh, may be more, uh, more in this TEPCO and the utility company so that government uh, failed to regulate and they just uh, um, more or less adapting uh, the need of utility companies that is regularly capture. And that could happen in many industry and the sector in this business, and rather that is a failure of the government. That happened, that is a typical, and that is the reason they knew it. They did not implement uh, such a measure to prevent, uh, sort of prevent and also respond in case of accident. So that is the reason we say mandate. Of course, your uh, investigation outlines mm -hmm. in detail the Commission's views on lessons learned from the Fukushima mm -hmm. disaster. Yes. Uh, but there are also lessons, uh, arguably, for the international community to take from this experience. Right. So could you talk a little bit about Japan's role uh, in uh, generating leadership in terms mm -hmm. of nuclear safety and maintaining a global network mm -hmm. uh, to prevent these types of accidents in the future? Uh, of course, I think nuclear accident, nobody wants to see that. But I think because uh, it's happened in Japan, so responsibility of Japan is to make this process, like investigation, more open to the public and also global community, so we could learn and share this lesson, which is really tragic uh, for Japan. Uh, but I think we have to really share this lesson. So in the future, if we need more nuclear plant, I think we should learn and develop and make a system, entire system, much better and safer. If there were one thing that you would want uh, your international mm -hmm. uh, audience to take away from, from your report and your experience, mm -hmm. what, what would you say? I think in this uh, more connected world and social uh, network and other, as a tool of information sharing, transparency is a foundation of trust and uh, accountability. Dr. Kurokawa, thanks very much. Thank you very much.